Japan passes bill to make online insults punishable by jail time following the self-minecrafting of Hanakimura, star of Netflix's show Terrace House. Bill gained traction after the 22-year-old Hanakimura, a reality TV star who is believed to have committed self-minecrafting after receiving hateful online messages. Proposed changes will mean up to one year in prison and a fine of up to a 2,221 USD. Current penalty for insults is less than 30 days detention and a $74 fine. I mean, can I just pay double and not get the year in prison? I'll, I'll take that. So, yes, this this is Japan. They do a lot of things right, but when they fuck up, you got to call them out on it. A bill to introduce prison terms as part of tougher penalties for online insults was passed Monday at the Upper House uh, Plenary Session, make, marking a major step towards tackling cyberbullying in Japan. Why the fuck don't they tackle their, their IRL bullying problem first? Like, that's what gets me. So it's such a big deal to take care of cyberbullying, but Japan literally does nothing to, about the bullying culture that's present in both their schools and their workplaces because they're too chicken shits to do it. The moves to amend the country's penal code gained traction after Honda Kimura, a 22-year-old professional wrestler and cast member of the popular Netflix reality show Terrace House, was believed to have uh, self-minecrafted in May of current year minus two after receiving a barrage of hateful messages on social media. Should have turned off her computer. Uh, parliamentary debate has uh, centered around uh, how, on how to strike a delicate balance between tougher regulations and freedom of expression as guaranteed by the Constitution. The main opposition, uh, Constitutional Democratic Party in Japan and others, have opposed the revision, arguing it could uh, stifle legitimate criticism of politicians and public officials. So the bill was passed after reaching an agreement with the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, which, you know, if you guys don't know, that's their conservative party in Japan. And no, I'm not making shit up. Uh, with a supplementary provision stipulating that a review will be conducted within three years of its enactment to determine if it unfairly restricts free speech would be added. In Japan, insults are distinguished from defamation in the former publicly demeans someone without referencing a specific action, but both are punchable under the law. Currently, the penalty for insults is detention for less than 30 days or a fine of less than 10,000 yen or $74. <laughs> the proposed amendments... Uh, will introduce a prison term of up to one year and raise the fine of up to 300,000 yen or $2,221. The statute of limitations on insults will also be extended from one year to three years. The change will come into effect 20 days after their promulgation. So you could talk smack to someone and someone can just sit on that for three years and, and use it to destroy you three years later. Like that's fucking bullshit. Like the, the statute of limitations for this should be it, you have to report it immediately when it happened or else it doesn't count. Oh, well, Rojigami's got some info here. That girl was acting like a major bitch towards one of her co-stars and got dogpiled by the audience. That's what led to her self minecrafting. Now, see, that's what I don't fucking get. Was she not a professional wrestler? Like Something's real fishy about this fucking story, because if you're a professional wrestler, you know you're going to be the heel at some point in your fucking career. If you can't handle the audience going after you when you're the fucking heel, you need to quit. That is not the profession for you. Professional wrestlers who can't take criticism, like, no, either something else is going on or, or she just was not cut out for it. Like, could you fucking imagine if, like, like Hulk Hogan when he was in WCW or in the NWO, rather, if he quit be because he couldn't handle the audience hating on him? What the actual fuck is this shit? What kind of weak, bitch-ass bullshit is this? A professional wrestler that can't take audience criticism? What the fuck? Is this where professional wrestling is nowadays? Do modern profe are, are modern professional wrestlers really this bitch made? I don't get it. Man, I, I guess I'm glad I don't watch wrestling anymore. Now, the degree to which an insult will be considered punishable under legislation remains unclear. It's probably going to be on a case-by-case -case basis, I bet. So uh, two men in Osaka and Fukui prefectures were, were fined 9,000 yen each for insults posted about TV personality Kimura before her self-minecrafting, but some expressed concern the penalties were too light, which led to a push for legal changes. Yeah, now those same people are going to get caught up in this themselves, and now they're going to be bitching that it's too harsh when they're spending a year in prison.
Also, Monday, a proposal to unify two types of imprisonment with and without forced labor into a single punishment was passed in at the plenary session of the House of Counselors. Prison work will no longer be mandatory for inmates, allowing uh, more time to be allocated for rehabilitative guidance and indoctrination in efforts to reduce recidivism. Now, that's a smart move, actually. So prison, uh, at least in, in the U.S., obviously Japan's different. It's supposed to be about correcting your bad behavior, not punishing you for what you did. I know, funny, right? Given that it, the system doesn't behave that way at all. So the establishment of the unified imprisonment law will take effect within three years of its promulgation. It marks the first time changes have been made for this type of punishment since the penal code was enacted in 1907. Damn, that's been a while. Holy shit. But either way, if you live in Japan, this, this is not good. This is bad news. But there, there is a way to deal with it. Just do what I recommend you do on Twitter and social media in general. Over here in the West, it's not to the same extreme that, that Japan's dealing with here. That we don't have to worry, at least for now, about being arrested for mean tweets yet. But we do face getting canceled. We do face potentially losing our jobs if we're doxxed. But more importantly, for at least the reasons I tell people to disengage, it's deplatforming. If someone is annoying you, and especially if they're intentionally trying to get you to respond, they want you to say something that they can report as a violation of the terms of service. That's their whole goal. They're trying to get you deplatformed. So they're going to keep poking you and poking you and poking you. And you're finally going to have enough and respond. And then they're, them and all their friends are going to mass flag you. And, and all of a sudden you're, you're deplatformed. So just block and mute them. Don't bother arguing with them. Don't throw insults at them. Don't talk to them. Just block or mute them. And you're done. So it looks like Japan as a whole is going to have to start um, learning this lesson.